Hello and welcome to our show Neat S600 where we talk about secrets of scoring more than 600 marks in the Neat exam. I'm your host Kamal and this episode is in continuation to our previous episode. Today we are going to talk about a different subject. We are going to talk about chemistry. Yes, we are going to talk about chemistry as in how we can score more than 600 marks with the help of chemistry in Neat exam. And to educate us on this topic, we have with us a special guest, Ajit sir. Ajit sir, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here. Most welcome sir. Ajit sir is a faculty of Akash Institute and comes with a teaching experience of more than 16 years. Ajit sir, we want to understand a little bit about chemistry. Students are very angry. In chemistry, there is inorganic, hai, organic, hai, physical. Bhi hai. So, how we should prepare for all three? What should be the strategy? Now, physical chemistry is all about the concept driven numericals, the formula based numericals. No advanced mathematics is required in physical chemistry. So, what I have seen over the period of time in NEET, they ask questions like this means just apply the formula, put the value, and you get the answer. Dusri cheez, if we talk about the organic chemistry, it is all about the reaction mechanisms the attacking species, the reaction intermediates. Agar aapko apni organic chemistry ko achcha karna hai, you have to master one chapter first and that chapter is the organic chemistry, some basic principles and techniques. Okay. 11th class ka chapter, jisko hum general organic chemistry bhi bolte hai. Agar aapne us chapter ko master kar liya, aapki 80 percent problems solve ho jayengi. And if we talk about the inorganic chemistry, it is all about gathering the informations and the NCRT is enough. NCRT is like Bible of inorganic chemistry. Alright, sir. Sir, generally dekha gaya ki students ki preparations so bhaat achhi hoti hai. They prepare well, but when it comes to exam, when it comes to execution, waha par kuch kami reh jati hai. So, exam mein kaise time ko manage kare, exam mein kya strategy honi chahi hai? See, it's all about the approach of the student to solve the paper. Approach, he hame batati hai ki wo question difficult hai ya asaan. So, it's my advice to students that attack on those questions which are easy, which you can solve within a minute. Like, which of the following is most electronegative? Just tick the correct answer, move to the next question. So, aise question you will find 20 to 30 questions like this. Okay. Or agar aap pehle hi in questions ko kar lete hain, to baaki bache questions ko aap easily solve kar sakte hain bache time mein. Alright, so there are 45 questions hmm. and you say that uh, around 20 to 30 questions are just like that. Tick and move ahead. So, what I want to say is, if chemistry paper starts with the question number 46, generally I have seen that student go like 46, 47, 48, 49 like this the sequence which is given in the paper. Mm -hmm. Make your own sequence. Jo asaan questions hai unko pehle karo aur jo tough questions hai unko baad mein solve karlo. Alright. So, now we would like to understand uh, when we say chemistry, there are couple of books in the market. Right. Students prepare from NCRT, they have some reference books as well. Yes. So, what do you suggest? What should be the prime book where students should have the maximum focus? that is NCRT. Okay. Now, NCRT is like a Bible and I recommend a student to read NCRT line by line and word by word and you should know the meaning of every line and every word. I have seen that the questions which have been asked in NEET, they are asked direct from either in text question of NCRT or from the back exercise or from NCRT exemplar or from a paragraph of NCRT, right? So, NCRT is must. All right. So, as Ajit sir suggested, NCRT should be treated as the Bible of NEET. NCRT se jasa sir ne bataya, there are direct questions which comes. So, we cannot afford to skip anything from NCRT. This is something where we need to have the strongest grip. Sir, next question we would like to understand is, what are the important chapters? Weightage kya rehta hai? Kahaan se zyada questions expected hote hain? Kahaan se kam questions expected hote hain? Is pe if you can guide us. 
सी एस सच देर इज नो ब्लू प्रिंट ऑफ नीट राइट मतलब हम ये नहीं कह सकते कि इस साल इस चैप्टर में से तो तीन क्वेश्चन आने ही आने हैं और इस चैप्टर में से तो दो क्वेश्चन आएंगे ही आएंगे सो इट्स ऑल डिपेंड ऑन पेपर सेटर अब हमें घुसना है पेपर सेटर के दिमाग में तो वो कैसे करेंगे हम आर नेशनल अकेडमिक टीम एट आकाश हैज डन अ वंडरफुल जॉब वॉट दे हैव डन दे हैव एनालाइज द प्रीवियस टेन ईयर्स पेपर और जिसके ऊपर सबसे ज्यादा क्वेश्चन आए हैं वो चैप्टर सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट राइट तो मैं कुछ चैप्टर्स आप लोगों को बता रहा हूं जिसके ऊपर सबसे ज्यादा क्वेश्चन पूछे गए हैं नंबर वन केमिकल बॉन्डिंग एंड द मॉलिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर नंबर टू इक्विब्रियम थर्ड चैप्टर दैट इज ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री सम बेसिक प्रिंसिपल एंड टेक्निक्स नेक्स्ट चैप्टर हाइड्रोकार्बन नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज द कॉर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड एंड देन पी ब्लॉक so these chapters are very important any students who would have a strong grip over these chapters it would be easy for them to score more than 600 marks as per the trend ajit sir being a faculty of akash institute what do you suggest what are the other resources available from akash institute which students can make best use of and can prepare for neat exam see as i said earlier the ncert is the best book right and being the faculty of akash every teacher follows ncert and if you want elaborated form of ncert that is our study packages and in study packages the number of questions are given that are enough for the preparation of neat as well as scoring 600 plus marks all right sir now that we have come to the end of the session jate jate any last piece of advice which you would like to give to our students the main thing for the selection is consistency agar aap class 11th ke student hai do saal aapko with consistency study karni hai agar aap repeater student hai to pura ek saal aapko consistency ke sath padhai karni hai aapko aisa nahi karna hai ki aapne do mahine padha fir ek mahine chhod diya that will not help consistency is key to success thank you so much sir So with this message consistency is the key to success we would like to conclude today's session i hope ye aapke liye bahut informative raha hoga the kind of guidance which ajit sir has given to us if we follow this guidance i am sure you would be able to score more than 600 marks in neat exam with the help of chemistry as a subject in the next episode we are going to talk about another subject till then keep practicing and stay tuned